Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Today we're going to be making a fun 3D kind of bulging heart, I guess you could say. Um, I've done this heart in acrylic um, as well as I'm going to do it today in paint pens. Uh, I just wanted to show that it can be done with either uh, supply that you have around the house. I find the paint pens to be very uh, simple for this, take a lot less time. Um, however, not everybody has paint pens. So start by just giving yourself the outer shape of your rock with your uh, uh, paint pen. I've got the 1M here that I'm gonna do for lining and then I also have whatever colors you have want to use. I've got the 3M and the 1Ms for the fine details. So I'm going to do a 3D heart in here, but you could do this with any shape um, that you want to. Uh, the inspiration from this is actually a childhood art project where you trace your hand on a piece of paper and then you do these lines horizontally through it in an arch and it creates this fun 3D effect. So we're just gonna put our heart on there. If you can't freehand a heart that easily, go ahead and cut yourself a template out of a piece of paper. I do have my post-its here to help with my lining. Um, if you have a flexible tape measure, like the fabric style ones where you can go around people's waists, that will work too. It's just nice to be able to put something down on your rock that um, you can kind of press down and get a straight line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a checkerboard on top of this design, uh, but we're going to change the way the lines are. We're gonna manipulate them a little bit in the center of the heart. So we're gonna start by doing our checkerboard on the outside. So this is really gonna help us keep our lines consistent, even though we're gonna stop them halfway. So I'm gonna do a line here, top, of your circle to the top of the heart and then we're gonna skip the inside of the heart and then we're gonna come down just like that okay and then we're gonna do one about here and again we are going to come to the top of the heart skip over the heart and then along the bottom and then here and then we're gonna stop at the heart skip over to the bottom And you could do as many or as few uh, checks on here as you want to. Um, let's do one here. And I've also got my colors here. I've got purple and green, obviously. You can do whatever colors you want to for your design. All right, so we're all the way across this way. So we're gonna add in our lines here. So now the lines, when they're going through the heart, we're gonna have them bulge from the center. So I'm gonna have the lines here and here arching upward, and the ones down here, I'll flip the rock and do them the same. So we're gonna go from where it connects, and we're gonna do an arch, and then right back to our starting line, an arch and then right back to our starting line. Now I'm gonna turn my rock and do the same thing going the other way, an arch, and then back to the starting line, and then an arch, and back to my starting line. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing going um, across our rock. So I'm gonna start with a line almost in the middle. Oh no, are we too big? No, we're not too big, okay. I just meant too big for my post-it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start right here and just again, straight lines on the outside of the heart first. Okay. Just that outside edge, just the outside edge. Sometimes when you're drawing, you have to remember the thickness of your pen too and give yourself some space for that, okay? Because your pen is pretty thick. So see where my piece of paper is, isn't quite where the line is. So sometimes you want to move down a little bit further than you think you might want to. Okay, now you have two different um, options here when you're in the center. You can have it all bulge in one direction or you can have it bulging out from the center. So I'm gonna do this one bulging out from the center. So I'll start here at the bottom. We've got these two lines. I'm gonna just do a little arch here. Okay, and then this line to this line. 
make sure you kind of eyeball where you're heading before you start your arch, okay? Because sometimes it can be tricky. It can play a trick on you. So here to here. So we're gonna go downward like that. And then I'm gonna turn and start going upward. So I'm going from here to here. And you can fudge too, like look, I, I didn't go quite as far up as I wanted to there. We're gonna paint over these, so it's okay if you have to make some adjustments. And then up here. And I didn't draw my line in between. You would have the arches go to that crossing line, okay? So just like that, we're gonna let our black dry a little bit here in the center because we did those lines last. I'm gonna start blocking out um, where my checkerboard design's going to go. So I've got my two colors here, so I'm just gonna start by putting in some dots, okay? So I've got, um, so purple, purple, like that. So it's every other spot should be purple unless it crosses over into your design. So we've got purple, purple, purple there, and then inside the design, that will be purple, that one will be purple. So I find it easier to go through and try to mark your colors first. You shouldn't have two colors touching, but every once in a while, I'll try to, to trick you and trip you up. So if you're unsure, leave it blank for the time being and then come back to it. See some of those ones when you get in the center, they can get a little bit tricky. Sometimes you have to actually see the color on there to really be sure. And purple, purple. On the outside, it, it's pretty easy because it's a standard checkerboard. It's just sometime when the, the lines overlap, they can get a little bit tricky for a little bit. So, got most of them marked here, purple. And make sure that if you're, if you're correcting a mistake, you don't get messed up in that area either. Okay, so I'm gonna start filling in my greens because I've got my purples marked and I'm gonna speed quite a bit of this up, okay? As you continue to fill in your lines, you'll really start to see that kind of 3D shape take figure. And it really starts looking cool. So see, you can kind of just go right over those lines. See, I kind of changed that arch there um, because I didn't like, it wasn't quite enough for me. So you can just go right over your black and it's no problem to do that. If you can still see your black through, you can always do a second coat once you're done with your purple. But I think I've got all of my greens done here. So we're gonna start in with the purple. We'll speed it up a little bit for you and we'll show you when it's done. Just finishing up a few of these tiny, every once in a while I have these very tiny little spots left over. It's easier to get in there with the 1M pen to uh, get the color in. Uh, so if you need to touch up any of your lines, you can do that while you got it out. Make sure you get that color deep into each of those corners. And look at, you. every once in a while, once you've got all the color on there, you'll see certain areas like right there i need one little dot of green and who knows when i fix my outside lining if it will still be there but just in case that one little dot of green would be there i'll get this green out to this corner but as you can see look how cool that looks that heart just is going to jump right out especially once we get those nice crisp black lines on there again so 
This only needs a second to dry before you're going over with black. Again, make sure you get the color into the corners um, because it's it's easier to color back over. Like if you go over the lines, um, like here, I went over the line, but the color is all the way up to the edge. It's easier to go over your color than to try to go back in once you got all your lines done and get a little, little bit of green or a little, little bit of purple into the space. So I'm gonna do my outlines and we'll show it to you all done. Just finishing up the last couple lines here. And you can see how cool this design is. Love it. No pun intended. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And really, such a simple uh, design process. It just looks really cool when it's done. Just almost looks like that heart just really pops right up out of the design, doesn't it? So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Let us know in the comments what you think. And uh, we will see you all soon with something else new. Bye-bye.